So Marco was was always my driving force. She is the lawyer who str is struggling to conceive. She wants to have a baby and uh, she's afraid maybe that she held off for too long. She had put her career first and is now w worried about that and had always had family at the forefront, but because she can't ha now have a child, she is hyper-focused on her brother and his relationship and his kids. And it's getting uh, to the point that it's really not healthy and she needs to have something of her own. She was always such a driving force for me of this novel. I can relate to all of my characters in one way or another, but she was the, a starting point for me. I just thought this woman is so desperate and she's a lawyer and she's so logical and she plans. Astrology is antithetical to who she is. And I loved that clash of this person who is so logical would go to this kind of woo woo. Is this really real? Can she tell me anything for answers? But it just goes to show you right from the start, she's at the end of a rope. She doesn't know what else to do. She cannot muscle the life that she wants into being. And so she's maybe going to try to magically wish it there. <laughs> but Rini was also another character who I, she was the last one for me to settle into. She is the astrologer. She is the one behind this whole retreat. And I, it took me a long time to know who she was. I wanted her to m be mysterious, but I also had to know who she was for myself. And that was, that was one that, that took a lot. But at the end, when I finally clicked it into place and her family dynamics and what she was fighting for, it really came alive for me. I had the setting, I had the house, the, the, the bones of it, but it really became a character as I kept editing this novel. And I took some inspiration from Flowers in the Attic, The Shining, uh, some of these iconic books and movies and both that, uh, that where the character, the house is a character. And the most important part of making the house a character is to give it secrets. And so I have passageways that the guests aren't supposed to be knowing, supposed to know about. I have, um, you know, secrets in the history of how Rini built it, how she came to find it. Her family is kind of buried in there, uh, psychologically, not not literally, but it is. Uh, there's just so much, so many layers to it, and all of those secrets kind of unfold as the story unravels in this novel. Because, like you said, there these are all people who know each other. They're related by blood by marriage these are very it's a very tight-knit group of people and to have one of them die would I, you know I wasn't I, there's no serial killer there's no stalker so I cannot I'm not, personally cannot imagine going away with you know seven of my friends and one of us dying so I really had to amp up the secrets the old resentments and uh, they have a lot of conversations around, someone had told me three M's, marriage, monogamy, and motherhood. And that is intentional because to me, what else would you possibly kill for, but for your family and the people that you are closest to, the people you are trying to protect, the people who, are, who you are charged with raising. So th those, it had to be that close to the bone. Otherwise, you know, I, I just didn't know how you'd get there without, again, introducing some crime element from the outside. No stalker, no serial killer. These are people who love each other, but also are struggling right now. They're all in a really bad place and they're all really confused as to what those things are supposed to, marriage and monogamy and parenting, how that's supposed to fit in their lives and when it doesn't, how to jam it together so that you don't lose one part or another. And that kind of discordant moment is what leads to death here.